7%, 2%. Let's switch that out. <laughs> Let me just get naked. All right, next day survival. So what? what's going on here? Where, where am I? All right, so I am here. I need to get up to my storage. Yeah. Because I'm pretty much full. Full of junk, so I just looted a helicopter drop. So this is, um... I'm kind of captivated by this one. I've been playing this one a lot. It's like Stalker, Daisy, Online... I, it, I really like it, and it, I got it. It was on sale for like six bucks. Even I think full price is like ten. So it's you know it's a small indie game, but boy does it have a lot of character. I need to get back to my faction territory so I can sell some stuff and store some stuff. Then we can check some things out. And I don't have my hazmat suit, so I can't go over there. Or my radiation. So yeah, that's like the stalker stuff. Oh, there's a wolf way over there. But yeah, let's um, let's get back because I want to dump this ghillie suit. I don't want to keep it on right now. And I, I am playing this with a Steam controller, but I'm not really ready to share this profile or make it you know this isn't about the steam controller i just wanted to play the game but yeah i do have got all my stuff it has a lot of a lot of like daisy gesture kind of things so i'm putting off but i'm holding off because i i know there are vehicles and i want to properly test it and then like i keep coming across little things the game doesn't tell you, like, uh, you know, shift is hold breath for a sniper rifle. So yeah, I wanted to put some more time into it, but in the meantime, I wanted to, wanted to show it off, because really, I, I'm just pretty much playing this. It's, <laughs> it has sucked me in. I like it. I am playing single player, so it's just me versus AI. There is an online mode, and that is a separate character. So, like, this guy will stay, you know, geared up if I go online and die. But what I like about it is that it has... It has these factions that all have, um... Mission quest lines to them. So, like... Let's, uh... So, I'm up here. I'm a civilian right now, because I've been doing some civilian quests... You start over here. This was neutral, which is actually... This was something that took me a while to figure out. So now that I'm a civilian, if I die, I respawn at my civilian camp. The problem is that most of my guns and backup storage <laughs> is still in my starting camp storage. So I'm going to have to make a couple of trips back and forth. And I was about down there, so, you know, it took me, I don't know, like, five minutes to run the distance. There we go. Okay, okay, let's go over here, and this is, I can store things with him, or buy things, so let's, um, let's put that over here. Magazine for VSS. I don't think I have a VSS. So, okay, we got, let's get out of here. I am thirsty. So you got these gauges down here. I'm getting pretty hungry, and I'm fairly thirsty. Do I 
have anything to eat? I do not. All right, well, let's, um, let's look around some. Hey, here's an extra pair of binoculars. Let's eat some yogurt. And then when it was blinking green, that means that they were filling up, so I'm still hungry. But yeah, I mean, it's, it definitely wears its inspirations on its sleeve. Like, this so much daisy, even, like, down to the, like, this. It's like deja vu, turning this corner, seeing that wallpaper. I actually, I haven't spent too much time in this camp, because I was kind of making my base be this, the one I started out in. But yeah, so I guess the green, like now that I'm a civilian. And you can pretty easily lose your allegiance to your faction. Like I had taken a mission from this guy who was a neutral that was to like go kill civilians who are actually looters, but then when I killed them, it still counted as a kill of civilians, and then I was a traitor, and it was all confusing. <laughs> it was a little extra confusing because this seems pretty clearly a Russian-developed game or Ukrainian or something, but some of the translations are pretty bad. But yeah, like I, I, I'm always, I'm always rooting for the, these little games that show a lot of heart. Is it perfect? No, absolutely not. It's a little buggy. It's a little weird. Some of the translations are all wonky, like, English. That's fine. Got some nice water reflections. Sure. But yeah, then this, this is like the, um, stalker thing, too. Like, if I have... So I have my gun out. He doesn't want to talk to me. So you have to holster your gun to talk to people. Which is a little touch. I wish more games did stuff like that. So, alright. Let's, uh, see what we got. You're the sharpest tool in the shed around here. Well, we are all in serious trouble. We need a hunter to sweep the area clean. Do it. The guys will return the favor. Report to me afterwards. Okay. And then, yeah, there we go. So it's pointing me in the direction. Let's see if I can find some food. Oh, what's that? Breathing mask. Sure. We'll do it. So, all right, we got... I like, too, that you can, instead of just reloading, check. All right, so I have 10, 10 shots with my sniper. Forty shots with that, and you can switch, and you can zoom in and out. Uh, I know you're hungry, buddy. Well, do we want to risk looting over here? I know there's a wolf over here somewhere. Let's switch to. There it is. Where's that? Ah. Sure. 
Shit. <laughs> that, that caught me off guard. Damn it. Now I'm dying. Hopefully that'll do it. Okay. So yeah. They're blinking green, they're getting better. What I was trying to do is I need to switch. I don't think that I can, uh... I don't have the equipment to make a fire. And I don't want to eat raw meat, so... Maybe I can find a fire around here somewhere. Those helicopter drop, there it is. Those, um, that's actually where I got the sniper rifle I have right now and the ghillie suit I have. So those can be pretty amazing. We can hit this mission and see if I <laughs> see if I make it. And then if I make it, I can go to that helicopter. If this was online though, that helicopter drop would I'm sure be a terrible place. Kind of want to try the sniper rifle from a distance. Nice. Where'd they go? Shit. Come on, heal. Damn it. Okay, so I killed them all? I thought there was still another one. Whew. Well, that was a little sloppy. Okay, yeah, I did get them all. Get them all. Well, let's put this... Okay, um... 45, 35, let's hold on to that. Seven percent, two percent. Let's switch that out. <laughs> Let me just get naked. Yeah, I've got too much stuff. Let's, uh, let's put the helmet on. Gas mask would fill that slot. Okay. Uh... All right. Well, let's. There we go. 
fill up on some water. And we'll check out that house. I need some food. Or a fire. Where is that? I need food. Or a fire. Okay. Some raw potatoes that help helped me a little bit. Oh. How'd that happen? Jeez. Well, I didn't know that happens. <laughs> so that that's a thing. Shit. I better just uh try to get back to my base. Screw the helicopter. I can't. <laughs> I need to heal up. Heal up, stock up. Oh, I know you need a break, buddy. Okay, there's the, the carrot. We're getting there. Of course, all of my food is in the other... <laughs> my other, other hideout way over there. Damn it! I just kind of wanted to show you the mission structure, though. But yeah, you get quests from your faction. It seems like there's overlap, too. Because like I was saying earlier, when uh, I was confused... I better slow down. When I was confused about one of the quests, it was actually that same quest, but given by a different guy in the neutral camp. And by killing those guys without this dude telling me, I was branded a traitor because they were looters dressed as civilians. So then it was like, I was betraying civilians. Until this guy was like, no, get down there and kill those guys. Alright, so now we're getting somewhere. Get a decent gun. I don't want to accept that right now. I just want to... Let's... Does this stuff refill? It does. Oh, give me the milk. There we go. Whew. I panicked too in that when that became a, an irradiated zone, I had the gas mask. I just forgot about it. There we go. I like how they show your guy, like, everything he's doing, too, up there. That's kind of quaint. All right, anyways. I'm gonna have to 
gear up, then take another quest. But yeah, I I am really liking this one. <laughs> it's, it has a lot of character. I dig it. And this is just this is uh, the single player. So you can go online, play with a group of people. I'm not sure how many people are on the servers, but I popped onto one just for a couple minutes and there was a bunch of people running around. And then, you know, you got your chat over here. And, you know, as I once I test everything out, I'll have my Steam controller profile ready to go. So, yeah, that's Next Day Survival. It, two thumbs up, man. This just kind of like I sort of had it on my radar but I wasn't really all that interested and then I saw it was on sale and boy I'm glad I took a chance on it because <laughs> it's a hell of a lot of fun